Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and for my new subscribers, uh, I'm glad you're joining us. My name is Yvonne. Uh, in this video it will be part 3 of the making of the waterfall uh, journal and in part 1 and 2 we already made the large envelope and the coin envelope and we attached the fabric hinges on this one because we could hide them uh, underneath the paper so that's why they are already attached and today we're uh, going to attach the other two pieces so it makes this waterfall this flip out like this that's what we are uh, further going to uh, make but first of all, and I want to uh, put some uh, embossing on here because I I like the, the flowers, but I don't like it uh, here because it's a lot of flowers, a lot of busyness, and here will be a picture later on. So I thought I'll tone it down a bit with some embossing. First of all, we're going to close the envelopes. This is what we did on the inside is just what you're going to see so we're con uh, gonna stick this down uh, I already inked all the edges also from the closed envelope because it's a lot of work and you don't want to see me just inking and I roughened up these edges because I like the effect I could have done it here also, but I don't know if I want to decorate here and then yeah, it's bumpy, so I didn't want to do that. Uh, with the coin envelope also, I inked all around and up roughened the edges a bit also here because this is a vis visible edge and here will be a picture and down also roughened it up and inked all around the envelope. So that's just a preference of me, you don't have to do that. So first of all we're going to close this envelope and we just have to put glue here and it will attach my gluing paper. Oh, that's the wrong one. I hope you like this uh, project and maybe for you it's also uh, a new kind of journal that you want to try. It's always nice to take something new, try something new. Let's see if I don't, I'm not gluing anything inside. This gluing some. Yeah, I'm going to put something inside. Let's see what I have. Some plastic. Because I have the feeling it's sticking to something. I don't know why that is. And we can put it to the side, we can all start with those. I'm going to leave this, it's easier. And then I can close this, and then this will go over there. Put glue here. You can use uh, double sided tape. If you want, it's also a good ad adherence. Yeah, nothing seeping out. Because of all the layers, it's uh, pretty thick, so... Thinking if I 
want some double-sided glue so it will stick very good. Something extra because you can uh, use double-sided uh, tape and uh, put glue over it so it will be yeah a bit of both a bit extra and I have to be mindful that I'm not putting glue here because here is the fault line and this is also cut in a little angle otherwise I'll close that part of the of the envelope. I'm not seeing if there's any glue. Ah it's more than enough. Because I made the mistake in the in part two that I didn't stick the fabric hinges. This has an extra layer of fabric, uh, of uh, paper, and I can feel it's very thick now to be adhered. Little glue coming out. And the edges are a bit sticking up a bit. It's already a very beautiful envelope also on this side. Really like it. Like that. Let's see. I'm going to check with my template so I don't uh, adhere anything the wrong way. So now we're sticking this down. We we're here like this and my front piece will be uh, here and I'm going to put the fabric here because on this side I will have some layers of paper so this will be covered very well and because it flips like this I'm going to put it on here I want about a half a centimeter here and about two centimeters here. So I'm going to position it like this, really to the edge. And then I'm going to clip it so it doesn't move. Let's see that it's on the edge here also. Yeah, and now I can put the hinge over this. And we will have the extra room for that this will go easily. Because if you stick it down like this, and here is no room, it will be more difficult to make this uh, closing. That's why I'm going to do it like this. Now I need my fabric glue. I'm going to put the glue on here and start with a small and then it doesn't have to be very tight, just there's just a bit here. And spread it so it doesn't seep through the fabric. It's a bit longer, but it, yeah, it doesn't matter. Because it's attached here between the layers of uh, paper, I can't cut it, but I don't really mind. Every piece of fabric adds to the interest. I'm going to put these. Oh, I can 
Yeah, I'll let it dry more and then I'll show you how it flips. And then we're going to attach the large one. And I numbered them. So just for <laughs> that I'm not uh, really making mistakes. This also I want sticking out half a centimeter right here. It's half a centimeter from this envelope to this part and then a half a centimeter again about to uh, the large envelope. So like this and this flips up like this. Um, yeah, but for the sake of uh, what I was explaining, I'm going to put modern frame. I'm going. Yeah, this is not stuck down. I'm going to layer them like this and then glue the hinge because then also I will have the extra thickness of folding it, and that's my extra room for letting it fold easily. So I'm going to do the same like I did on that side. I'm going to position it to the edge. Let's see if I have some clips that fit. About here. Now the clips are too small. I have to take these. Like that. And here, I don't know. I'll take a larger clip. Let's see that I have it directly. And also, a bit difficult. Now it's completely to the edge, and I'm going to glue this over there. Let's see if I have any frame. Also, I'm going to spread it some more. And then, not very tightly, just flip it over. And glue it down. And the last piece uh, will be... Because this is... Oh no, we are going to attach this one also. Put this for a moment. This one. Ah oh no, I can't flip it. Let's see. So now there's just room to flip it over. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. No, yeah, there is is a bit. A bit of, ah, here you can see it better. There is some room so it can easily flip. And here it's the same. And that's the extra room because this will be thicker, there will be stuff on here. And let's see if I can put it a bit more. No, it's stuck. It's seeping through a bit, but it will dry clear, and we're going to uh, decorate this. Then the next step will be I can put this completely out. And then until here, 
we already did. What we needed to do with attaching this. This will be dry, I think. Let's see if there's nothing sticky. No. And the envelope has the flap like this. Always be mindful that you're going the right way. So this will be stuck down here. Also, we need a bit of room. So I'm going to stick my fabric hinge first here, and then we're going to attach it on there. Put a bit to the side. So I'm still on my mat. Yeah, I can completely put some glue here. I can erase these. I really hope you're following along or are interested in making such a journal. I would love to hear if you uh, tag me. I would love to see what you're making. Because everyone makes his, makes his own journal in his own style. So it's always nice to see uh, different ones. So maybe just a bit more. Just a small bit. Spread it. There will be paper over this, so it will be okay. Tissue. Finish, position it again so I'm not making any mistakes, hopefully. <laughs> and I'm going to do it the same way. Here I want half a centimeter about and this line it up with the card. Because then I'll have the extra the what it what the fabric has to do to get over this will be just enough to have the room that it flips open easily later on. Clip these. Let's see if I am correctly here. I put this clip away, but I need it one more time. Like that. Now I can put glue here. And I have to say, I really like these papers. And like I said in the earlier parts, uh, normally I never use so many digitals, but I just wanted to try. So gently flip it over. Put it down. But I wanted to try to. Uh, really use a digital. I have so many and I have to use... I started that uh, last year, in the beginning of last year. I said to myself I really need to use up more of what I already have and uh, of course I meant uh, the, um, the embellishments I already had, or the part stock or anything. But yeah, also digitals, if you already have them, yeah, it's a shame not to use them. They're not, not really collector's items. This will be uh, visible. It will, yeah, and in the back, one piece. Those will be the only ones that will be visible. But yeah, I, it's not that I don't like 
the, the fabric. I really love the fabric and the texture it gives. But I didn't want to cover up too much of the digitals, especially because all the other parts are not that big at all. And this is the largest piece when you see only this and here will be an image and it, it coordinates. Also, also because this is yeah, the, the off-white, the flowers, the off-white, I really think uh, it will match. So then I don't mind, but I didn't want to see a lot of fabric and then yeah, I have almost nothing left for uh, decorating. So let's see if we did it correctly. I'm going to flip it up. I think I already determined. Yeah, no, it's not. That was our first flip, and it really has comfortable. And here will be a collage, here will be something on there, so it needs a bit of space. And then this flips open like this. Here also a coin envelope closed already. There will be a journaling card inside, a decoration on here. Here will be, will, we will be decorating. This closes up again. And then we'll open it like this. Onto here. And that's how far we got. Of course, that's the envelope. And here is the envelope. And now you can see, just in, like in the template, the waterfall effect, the beautiful colors coming back, and here will be other colors, and the waterfall also here, here, and here. And that's yeah what I really wanted, and a bit of the, the movement in there that's not here, of course, because I stuck it on with, uh, with tape. But this is as far, oh no, my, yeah, I thought I wanted to stop here, but not yet. I want this attached. I'm going to put my paper underneath so I can have it the right way up. I can pull this out so it's not bumpy. And I'm going to glue it and then I have to trim because this is a bit of an angle and this is straight. Already inked it, but I forgot that I have to trim it a bit, but that doesn't matter. And I roughened this edge and this, so I'm going to leave a bit of the brown showing. So I'm going to put glue on here. I'm going to have, uh, use wet glue. Like I said before in my videos, the wet glue will go into the valleys of the embossing, so it will adhere better. Maybe glue stick would be enough, but I, yeah, I haven't tried. Let's see. Like this. Just a bit of the brown showing, and that I want to line up in that corner. And I don't mind if this sticks out a bit, but it doesn't have to, to um, it can't be too much or maybe nothing at all, because otherwise it will interfere when you close the flaps. So I think I'll, uh, I will have to, uh, have to trim it. I think it will uh, be too long. And this I'm going to cut because I can uh, rough the edges again. Scissors. I have them somewhere. Ah, completely hidden. This side, I'm 
Okay, so we'll be flipping it. And then we'll ink this up a bit. First, and I think I'll leave this little piece sticking out because it's not white paper and if I later on think, nah, it's nothing, I can uh, still cut it. And then all the edges now I distressed with uh, the, the distress tool from Tim Holtz. But like I said in the earlier uh, videos, you can do it with uh, scissors or a knife. That's, uh, that's an option too. Or with your nails, but I don't know uh, with your nails if it will work when uh, there are a lot of layers of paper on top of each other. I don't know if it works then. Ink this up again. The inking is not necessary at all. It's just something you like or you don't. But it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's done. So this, I'm going to put a clip on here for just a moment to keep it down. And I don't know if I want something down here to let it close or that all that will we maybe we will be making a, an altered paper clip to hold it down. That's also an option. I'm not quite sure. Uh, what I want there. And that's the design. So this is how far we're we're at. Flips out. Here will be an embossed frame with a tag in there. Here will be a collage. Here we'll, we'll, we will be making a, a lace pocket with a tag inside of course. The journaling card will be inside and we will be decorating this part. This will be decorated. This will be decorated. And I want to do something more to this because in a way it will be the cover of the journal. And then we have the envelope for sticking in embellishments to use in, uh, in the journal. Uh, I don't know if I really mentioned it in my previous uh, videos of this, the making of this waterfall. When it's finished, it will be for sale. So if you think during this, uh, these tutorial series, I would like that, please uh, send me an email. My email address is uh, in the description box or on Instagram, uh, send me a message and uh, we'll discuss it. As always, thank you very much for watching and supporting my channel. If you like this video, I would love for you to subscribe, give a like or a comment. I would love to hear from you and I will see you next time. Bye!